I'm Mel Donato, artist and designer, and today I want to share another sketchbook flip with you. So I'll be taking you through this tiny sketchbook that I completed for an art show called Sketchbook West uh, that's taking place in Las Laguna Gallery in February 2016. That's in Laguna Beach, California. So if you live anywhere near Laguna Beach, I invite you to go check out the show and then you'll be able to see this sketchbook and many other sketchbooks from other artists in person. And if you're not able to do that, then this video is the next best thing. So let's see what's inside this sketchbook. So this sketchbook, uh, it's called Reflections Pocket Journal. Uh, it's definitely not one I would recommend or personally pick because I found that it's very flimsy and the paper is very thin and porous so it's not very good for ink which I use a lot of the time uh, so the ink bleeds through the paper and it feathers so I can't get those really neat uh, tiny uh, detailed uh, lines that I'm really used to so but that's what we got from the gallery so it's what I had to use on the front cover, I just did some little embellishment with a silver marker. And then on the first page, so this was, was just a, a little warm up, nothing really fancy. Uh, and what you can see here is that the sketchbook actually broke. So that was after what I consider pretty normal use. Uh, the glue uh, kind of got unstuck here so I put a little tape just to prevent further damage so that's what I meant by not recommending this sketchbook uh, in over 10 years this never happened to me with any sketchbook so um, that's why I don't think this one is a very good one so I did this with a brush pen with an ink brush pen this one too I did with a brush pen and I used some white marker here on these uh, little tiny uh, numbers uh, this is consists of two pages so the front page is paper cutting uh, that I also painted with ink and makes a really nice frame for this second page which is a portrait drawn with a brush pen and some fine liner here I have more paper cutting experiments so also the front page is cut in the shape of a window and I really like this how this makes a nice shadow on the back page, if you can see this. And on the second page we have a lady reading under a chandelier. Also drawn with a brush pen. This is uh, some kind of mandala doodle and more in, in my style, I suppose. Also drawn with a brush pen. Uh, this is some kind of a fairy, I suppose. So she has green hair and some uh, vines growing over her. Uh, the background is a light watercolor wash and then I did uh, the color, the hair and the vines with colored pencils and the black is of course ink with the brush pen uh, this I don't really know how to explain this so just a thing that came to mind um, skull and some tentacles again uh, watercolor and ink with a brush pen and what happened here is this is uh, what I call an unhappy accident. So 
ink from some adjacent page kind of ran through here and made these stains at the center. So I don't really like this, uh, but sometimes things like this happen when you're making things in a sketchbook. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one is interesting. So I have these two pages that are the background is painted with black ink and then I did uh, some doodles, some floral and viney and swirly doodles with a white thin fine tipped marker on these two pages. And then in the middle is a skull cut with a scalpel, so in the shape of a skull, and so it partly obscures the pages behind it and also it gives you this nice shadow on the back pages. I haven't seen this done in the exact same way anywhere else, so I, I, I really like this, uh, this effect and this experiment. And here some more paper cutting play. Uh, so the pages just won't stand straight, so I have to... Okay, now you can see it. So it's a keyhole-shaped hole and a little embellishment with a gold gel pen. And you can see the eye poking through from behind. And on the other page we have a portrait done with a pencil. So Uh, so I haven't used a pencil in a really really long time and I kind of forgot how to how to shade with it. I used to do this really really subtle shades and uh, right now I'm not really sure <laughs> I know how to do that anymore. So that's, that's the portrait. Okay this one, that's pretty weird. Uh, I don't really know how to explain this. So it's just some underwater lady with a bunch of tentacles growing out of her head. Uh, the background is painted with watercolor and the line art is made using a brush pen. And then I did the little darkening of the background with colored pencils. Uh, so it has a slightly bigger contrast uh, but still, the contrast is rather is rather small, so it's a might be a bit confusing image. Uh, this one, so it's pretty light. So it's some kind of a woman wrapped in a cocoon of some kind. That's done using a pencil. some weird tree doodle. Again, a brush pen. This is a portrait of a lady, also drawn using a brush pen. And this one I think this is my favorite one in the whole sketchbook. So it's a mermaid uh, peeking through a window. And it's kind of make your own story. So it can be it can be a submarine, it can be an aquarium. Uh, so the background is painted with watercolor and then of course uh, some ink with a brush pen for the line art and this frame here. And then I also used some white pen for the air bubbles. So that's, can't keep this pretty straight, but I hope you can see all the details. So I really like this one. I think this one is the best in the sketchbook. Okay, next we have a teacup with some uh, weird 
potion inside. This is also ink and watercolor. And this is done using brush pen, so ink, and a gold paint marker for the frame. So you can see how shiny it is. And it's just a random portrait because apparently I do a lot of those. So shiny. And here we have another mermaid portrait. Really simple and minimal. So the background is watercolor and the drawing is with a brush pen with ink. Okay. And this is just the last one, just a doodle to close things up. So that's the end of this sketchbook. Okay, I hope you enjoy this and I hope you get to see uh, the show actually live in Laguna Beach and if not, check back here and uh, make sure to watch my other sketchbook flip videos so uh, by now I have quite a few when my other sketchbooks and if you want to stick around for a minute I'm going to show you some of my art tools that I mentioned in the sketchbook because you guys always ask me about the tools that I use so I'm just going to give you a quick run through what I used to make this one. So here's the tools that I told you about before and you can see the links in the description right below the video if you want to see where you can find them. So the first one is my favorite drawing tool ever. It's a Pento Pocket Kanji Fude brush pen. So it has this uh, bristle brush tip or a real brush, not a fake brush like those uh, brush markers. And it gives a really nice expressive line and I love it and I use it all the time. And this one is waterproof. So I really recommend it. I, if you like ink, you're gonna love this one. Okay, next, uh, this is its cousin. It's also a pencil brush pen. Uh, this one is just called, I think, Fude. So this one is a fine tipped. So there are other uh, thicknesses of this brush, uh, but I only use the thin ones. And unfortunately, this one is not waterproof. So that makes a big difference for me because I like to combine it with ink with watercolor. And this makes this brush pen far less useful than the other one. Uh, next, uh, Sakura uh, Pigment Micron. I don't use this a lot because I usually do also all my thin lines with a brush pen, but when something calls for really, really, really thin and small details or fixing something uh, that where my hand kind of shook, uh, shaken, that's when I use this baby. And this is like the, th the thinnest tip that you can get in these. So uh, it's, I think, 0.20 millimeters. Okay. This is a white pilot marker with an extra fine tip. So this is the tip and it's pretty decent in terms of opacity, so it's not really full full coverage, but if you kind of go over it twice, uh, then you get a little more intense white coverage. Okay, so I like this one. Of course, a regular mechanical pencil. It's just a um, 2B lead inside, so a little softer than uh, the regular HB. And other than that, nothing fancy. And uh, that's what I use for the, the kind of guideline sketches and also in the pencil drawings that you saw earlier. 
Then we have a gold marker. So I just use whatever gold marker I can find in my store, local store. Uh, I kind of always ha get into this trouble with these markers that the brush tip, that this tip, not the brush tip, just the tip. Um, I don't know what happens to it, but ink just stops flowing through. And then I end up with a marker that has, um, that it's unusable and yet it's full of paint inside and I don't know what to do with it. So I don't know why it happens, uh, but it kind of always happens with all the markers. So they don't last long for me personally. And it's not really something that I can recommend, but just to show you that I used it. Uh, Uniball Signo Gold Gel Pen. I have them in a couple colors, like glitter, uh, purple glitter, gold, bronze, silver, whatever, and white. Um, so that's the one I use in this particular sketchbook. Then I have this uh, silver marker, Stedler marker that I used on the cover of the sketchbook. Not a perfectly fine tip, but it's a little thinner than the other one. And then I have this uh, Sakura Koi watercolor set. So it's a set. I have to zoom out a bit so you can see the entire box. Okay, so this one has, it's a set of 24 colors so it's a huge range of colors and I love it and I use it all the time for all my sketches and sometimes even for my larger paintings uh, this is just a little swatches card that I made and um, as you can see I don't ever use this one this brush because I have this Pentel aquash water brush from earlier and a regular flat brush for covering the background. So that's what I use. That's uh, basically it. And I really love this set. I've been using it for a really long time and I, I can recommend it really. If you like watercolors, you're probably going to like this one as well. Okay, so that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this little sketchbook flip and uh, see you soon.